Hi guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to give you 10 cheap ways to keep your house safe while you go traveling. Number one, only tell close friends and family that you are going traveling. You don't want to be mouthing off in the bar or the club saying that you're going traveling to people that you hardly know because, you know, they could be the one that burgle your house. Number two, install some timers for your lamps in your house so that they come on at different times during the night. This is a really, really cool and simple idea. So if, you're, if you've got a few lamps in the house, put the timers on, set one to come on at like 10 o'clock and go off at 11 p.m. Set one to come on at like 9 p.m. and go off at 10 p.m. You know, set the timers on different times, only for a, you know, a short period during the night, but it just makes your home look like someone is living there. Number three is you can arrange to have a friend come over and check your house once a week or even if they drive to work, maybe once a week on their drive to work, they could change their route so they could drive past your house and just do like a quick scan just to check everything is okay. Number four, if you don't have an alarm system, you can buy these really cool cheap alarm systems that call a number when they are triggered. Now how it works is there's a sensor and when something moves past that sensor, either it is plugged into a phone line or it uses a SIM card and it will dial a phone number. Now you can have a friend that lives close by that when that alarm is triggered, it will dial his phone and he can come check out your house to make sure everything is okay. Number five is mail and newspapers. You know, you wanna organize your mail so you're not being sent packages that might be left on your doorstep and you don't wanna have your newspaper subscription coming to your house every day or every week and just having your newspapers built up on your front doorstep. So organize your mail, whether that's hold your mail or have a friend that comes around that you know organizes the mail for you and make sure that nothing is left on your doorstep. You know, you wanna sort that out so it makes it look like you are still living in the house. If you have 10 newspapers on your doorstep, then it is really gonna look like no one is home. Number six is if you have a lawn or a lot of plants outside your property, you may want someone to come around and mow your lawn and water your plants. If your grass is getting really long on your property when you're away, it really does look like no one is home. Number seven, don't leave a spare key anywhere because if someone does know that you're away, they may go round and try and hunt for that spare key. And if they know you're not home, they're gonna spend a good amount of hours trying to find it. Even if it's in the best hiding spot, it could be found. So either leave a spare key with a really trusted friend or don't leave one at all. Number eight, if you have the internet at home and it's gonna be staying on while you're away, you could buy yourself a webcam and have it plugged into the router so that you can access that webcam online. You could then check on your house to make sure everything is okay through that webcam while you are out of the country. Number nine is you can buy yourself a dog barking alarm. Now this sounds a bit crazy, but in actual fact, they're pretty cool. You can either buy a really cheap version that hooks around a door handle, so when a door handle is moved, it will bark and it'll sound like there's a dog in your house. You can also get more expensive versions where the sensors actually can see through walls. And basically if someone walks up the side of your house, the machine will start barking like a dog and it will really put off intruders coming into your house. Number 10 is I really recommend you install some night security lights. So if anyone is trying to wander around your house to find an easy way in, if these lights go off at night, it's really gonna put off an intruder. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave some links for some products that I've talked about down below in the description box so you can kind of check out what they are and check out what I meant by a crazy dog barking machine. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe down below, and don't forget to leave your own tips down below in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.